But I wonder how big the pile how big the pile is. Doesn't matter. Kind of terrifying. It would take I think I think it would take like twenty four hours to all to fill in how big. But I do need to figure out how to do a confession. Do you want to do one more? Like two more? Maybe? Yeah, we're we gonna do another game after that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm just clever. Okay, let's, we can take let's, a break. Let's start anyway. Okay. I'm still trying to remember what I was still talking about. Oh <laughs> shit! I had something other going on. Do we want to start? Yeah, sure. We can start in mid me forgetting stuff. Okay. You already did this. I know. What are you doing? Hey guys, what's up? Oh, Brady. So. Last time Tom told us that he was going to tell us a glorious story about the oh, conquest yeah. of the dragon of Asgard. Shut up. <laughs> what the fuck? He called it. What did I call? All that shit just got blown out. Yeah, but there's still have oxygen. But anyway, okay, so did you see the, uh, the Bill Nye versus, um, that idiot? <laughs> No, I wanted to. Oh, dude, it's on YouTube. I have to watch it. Yeah, uh... <laughs> you should watch that. For, for the show? That's a weird thing. I, that's a, I don't know if we can do that. We'll talk to Rodrigo about it. Yeah, Maybe. Well, I'm not bad. Who cares about that? This guy has enough pot. Like, pot. <laughs> fucking, this dude almost does something. He's fucking high. <laughs> Bullshit he's talking about. But, like, he's like... This pot crack theory or whatever. What, what is the term I'm looking for? Crack pot? Crack yeah, it's crack pot theory. <laughs> on, on fucking creationalism, evolution oh shit. God, it's just so is stupid. But, um. Man, I don't know how I was gonna, like, make this a long story, but. It's pretty fucking nuts, dude. Like. Fuck. Like, the whole argument basically, like, ended up being this. Like, somebody asked Bill Nye, he's like, so, what would it do to convince you that there was a god? And he's like, or like, that any of this, not, not uh, convince you that there's a god, but convinced that, um, Whoa, oh, this shit! dude's, like, theory is true, and he's like, any evidence of any Oh, kind. yeah, I heard about that. And then, um, mm, I like where this, this dude's, going. you might want to heal, man. Take that thing out, yeah. This dude's I got the same question. He's like, what would you do like what would what would it take for you to believe that you are wrong and that evolution is true? And he's like Wait, so he wasn't even willing to entertain the possibility? Yeah, he's like he literally said there is no hypothetical. It's like, okay, well, there fucking is, because I'm asking you a fucking hypothetical question for your, that I made hypothetical for your mindset. Like, that's what this person, this, like, random audience member brought to the table, right? Yeah. And, oh, that was the captain, by the way. I just got his rig. Nice. You need that. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, and it was just, like, a complete, like, he was completely unwilling to, like, Yeah, and he said, so he, yeah, he would literally talk about, like, how he's, like, a man of God and shit. I respect that. Like, I mean, I I don't respect that he's completely unwilling. Like, I totally respect people who are you know, yeah, like, yeah. Oh that. yeah, Bill Nye was great yeah. in this debate. Like, I just don't respecting respect... his like, you know, like, anybody that has like a faith or religion or anything. But yeah. he's like, you can't just make shit up and ha expect it to be like scientific fact. And that's what this guy is doing. I can't remember his name. It's really Ken Ham. Yeah, Ken Ham. Just like. Is like believe this is it. This is it. All you need is this, and it's like it's pseudoscience to the max. Yeah. And he tries to like say that like a lot of the things that like Bill Nye was saying is like pseudoscience, but it's like not really. Like he said, like carbon dating is like a fouled system, and you're taking a lot of stuff on belief and shit. And like Bill Nye's like not really, because there that was sounds like like. Taking a lot of stuff on belief? <laughs> wow. You, <laughs> I, think you, I mean, he's trying to call um, Bill Nye the crit. Oh, gotcha. I think. But um, one of the one of the only, only piece of, like, 
intriguing like things that this guy brought to the table uh-huh. is that um, they brought up like a rock sample and like they tested it. It was like I don't know, like volcanic quartz or something like that. I'm not. Don't quote me on that because I'm pretty sure that's wrong. But they found like you know. Hey, comment and tell us what it was. <laughs> they found like um, you know, volcanic rock and like wood. Right, but they, this right. is like really old, and they carbon dated it, and like the wood, oh shit, the wood was like between forty five thousand years ago, and the rock was like for, like forty million years ago, right? Uh huh. And he's like, "How are those together? How is this test accurate?" And that was like the only thing that I'm like, "Huh, I wonder what the problem is with is with that." Like, but it's like the one thing is. We all know if you ever had a science class and you do a test, you gotta have a so large test group. So here he is with that one fucking example that is supposed to disprove the entire the like science behind carbon dating. I found the deck logs. That's solid. <laughs> yeah. And here, not only that, when they cracked it open. It's like it spread to the colony and ruined well, the ship. How do you... Isaac, why? He doesn't have an answer for why it's wrong either. Yeah. He didn't fucking, like, ever say, you like... Gotta support your, your evidence. I think the only thing that he did say is, well, Bill Nye... In, Bill Nye instantly came up with, like, a reason as to why that happened. Yeah. And he was like, well, maybe the wood slid under the older rock. Like, because of how plate tectonics work. Yeah. And stuff like that. But he did actually have a... Ham had a rebuttal for that. And it was like, okay. But still, you haven't given me an answer. No, I don't have an answer. Nobody has an answer. Why aren't we finding this out? This this is so much of a question in and of itself. It's in no way proof of anything. Yeah. Huh. So it's not really admissible to this argument. I it's, a, it's like two hours and a half long, and I watched it all. Cool. I don't think a lot of... People probably have the attention span, but I mean, I was doing other shit at the same time. Yeah. Though. Like, I assume people are doing to this. You're not watching this play video game, you listen to this story. you think there's Paul Bear? I don't know. <laughs> it's been like four minutes. Four minutes? Are you joking? No. It's been, you it's want to make a four minute episode? It's been six. <laughs> no, keep going. What the fuck, Brady? We're gonna save. Let's keep going. You guys have never seen me save before. How about that? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, maybe you did it back in like episode. Seven. Wait, I don't understand. They always see you save. Dun 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 dun. I think that that was the entire chapter. Which entire chapter? The entire chapter two. Yeah. All right. On to chapter three, I guess. Where do you get, where do you go now? <laughs> Time to go to the the Halo. <laughs> the Ichimura does have a similar design to UNSC ships. All right. <laughs> I guess you have to go to the engine core. I, I, I somehow knew you would go there. Yeah. You should go to tram. Oh, wait. Look at that little dude. Which little dude? On the wall, there's like a little picture. That dude? Right there? Not that lady dude. Oh, yeah, what's up? Turn around. Flash. Available me first. That dude, he's like, I got a spanner. Light speed, carbonated, hard dead. Hard dead? Carbon. What? Yeah, what does that say? It looks like a carbonated hard dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. What is that? This one is any clear. Carbonated, hard dead. <laughs> Home, you like that? And we're working on board. Carbonated. 
Bro, you got rid of it in the hole. Like, no, goddammit, I'm diabetic. <laughs> is she dead? Diabetic? Yeah. God. He's also a badass. They only expected him to live to like, 25 or something? And he what? just had his 57th birthday. Why did they expect him to live until he's 25? Because... the beatus. Really? Yeah. His diabetes was that bad? Yeah, he's got what they call a yo-yo blood sugar. So like, he can't keep it... What the fuck? He can't keep it like, completely regulated. Huh. Because it just fluctuates. And they think that his, uh... Um... His pancreas kicks in every once in a while. Which is like, the thing that's not supposed to happen. So they're actually flying him out to Boston later this year. Cause he's, gonna a, do a bunch he's a of goddamn on. miracle of he, science? He is. He actually got a, uh, this past year was his 50 years with diabetes, and he got a medal. Or he got two medals. He got one. <laughs> Your dad won the diabetes award! No kidding. Dude, he's one of 4,000 people. I think there's so, 4,000 people that make it to. 50 years of diabetes. Wow, so you're saying that he, he was born with it. He was a baby with diabetes. Yeah, he was uh, diagnosed when he was 6 years old. I don't know, and they said that he probably had had it his entire life. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, which, which room do you have to go into here? I'm not sure, I feel like there's just a bunch of stuff in there. I'm hey, baby. Oh. I'm trying to I see keep an eye on them, right now I have bigger problems. Up. <laughs> oh god, get off me! I think, I think you still oh, have... Wait, wait, use that little, like, a... You have a nav thing, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah, so what I'm saying is that my dad's a badass. Yeah. And they're gonna fly him out to Boston and pump him full of sugar and see why the fuck he's awesome. What? They're gonna pump him full of sugar? Yeah. Isn't that, like, the opposite of what they should do? Yeah, but they're gonna make him a science experiment. Because he's a... He's a, uh... Triumph of Man and Science. Yeah. That's what it's called. It's also a space science.